just been listening to an excerpt of an ambient guitar meditation that I recently posted here on YouTube. What I'd like to do on today's video is walk through how I got the sound. Let's get to work. First up is the guitar I'm using, a PRS baritone. Second is the basic amp sound. I'm using a clean Fender-ish type of tone with a compressor. Here's what it sounds like. And as you could tell from the excerpt, I'm also using a distortion. And in this case, I'm using a J Rocket Allen Holdsworth Signature Distortion uh, pedal. And I've got it set up so that the built-in clean boost is running into the distortion circuit. And then I've adjusted the tone controls accordingly. I've also got it set to emphasize the mid-range. And here's what it sounds like. On this guitar, with the uh, pickup selector in the middle and the tone control rolled all the way down. All right, so kind of a nice, thick, kind of juicy distortion sound. Can a distortion be a juicy? Whatever, right? But it's a thick sounding distortion. Next up is a volume pedal, and in my case, I'm using my typical, for me, Morley Little Alligator. After that is the Source Audio Nemesis Delay. And I've got the rhythmic delay type dialed up, and in the intensity knob is all the way counterclockwise, so it's that initial pattern, if you will, that's available, with a little bit of modulation and the longest delay time available on the uh, Nemesis. Here's what it sounds like with a clean tone. Okay, just a, you know, kind of typical longer delay. And if I, if I play the lead tone, as I did in the ambient guitar meditation, here's what you get. It's a good sound, but I really did want something more, and that is when I thought, oh, let me hook up the Ventress and see what I can do with two different reverb units. So if you saw my recent uh, demo kind of slash review of the Ventress, you'll know that you can set two different reverb types and run them in parallel. So let me walk through what I've got going on. Here is the sound of the Ventress um, with everything going as I use it in the piece. So that's a pretty cool sound. Let me break it down for you. Reverb A is the room type, and uh, here's what it sounds like just by itself. I like that a lot. Actually, it, it's to me, it's reminiscent of a couple of patches on my Yamaha UD Stomp, which I love. So I was really attracted to this type of tone. As you can tell, it's a short reverb type. And it fades very quickly. And, um, but it's a very full sounding reverb. So let's go to reverb type B. And on this reverb, I'm using the echo verb. So it's a combination of delay and reverb. And here's what it sounds like the way I've got it dialed in. So as you can hear, I've weighted the balance between delay and reverb a little more heavily on the delay side. And I've got the repeats uh, cranked up fairly high, and it's a pretty fast delay. When you put them both together, this is what you get. So 
So I like that a lot. That is all coming from the ventress, right? So the room reverb plus the echo verb running in parallel. So that's important too. They're in parallel. They're not cascading one into the other. So there's, there's still clarity in the signal. All right, so now let's go ahead and add in the Nemesis, and I'll just play some volume swell leads uh, as I do in the uh, ambient guitar meditation. I like that a lot. I say I like that a lot on a lot of my videos, but I really do like that a lot. It's a great sound. And then the final piece uh, for this ambient guitar meditation is a little bit of a loop that kind of underlies the uh, the piece itself. And for that, I use the uh, just a TC Electronic Ditto, not the Ditto X2 or X4, just the little teeny Ditto looper, and it works pretty well. And all I do is add in a couple of layers of different tones. So the first layer I added in, I, I probably won't even be able to do it uh, like I did in the piece, is just kind of a rhythmic layer um, on octave B notes. Okay, so I've just got that going and I can play over top of that. And then later in the piece, I add another layer in, and in this case, I'm adding in an F sharp. Now, if you were playing in like a standard guitar, you might add in a B, but it's the second string on the 12th fret. Okay, so that's my second layer. So let's go ahead and add in a third layer. And I'm just going to add in a low B. All right, and then finally in the piece, I, I kind of wanted to change the key of the piece right at the very end. So um, I added in a... G. Okay, and then those are the layers that I kind of just build up through the piece. So listen to the piece and you can you'll hear it. And you can, you know, play over top of that. Well, there you have it. That's how I got the sound. Obviously, it heavily features the use of the Source Audio Nemesis and Ventress. Both of them are great pedals, and they play really well together. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to Chords of Orion. I've got ambient guitar-related content coming every week. Also, if you're interested in Chords of Orion music, I would encourage you to subscribe on Spotify. And as always, I'll see all of you on the next video.